Welcome to the Bluebird. You have adjoining waterside suites just as you requested, Mr. Jane. Thank you. Sounds expensive. Oh, why not? Yeah, it could be our last, uh... Hurrah. Someone may call the hotel asking for a Greta DiGiorio. Anyone that does that, give them my room number. The room number, but not my name. And uh, tell the night staff to do the same, yes? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Just your room number, DiGiorio. Perfect. Oh, would you like me to confirm your dinner reservation? Yes, ma'am. Certainly. Just so you know, um, evening attire is preferred. Oh, I'll just get a sandwich or order room service. I don't have anything to wear. Oh, we'll figure it out. Thank you. It's right up the stairs on the first floor. Thank you. You're welcome. That's good taste, huh? Yeah, well, what are you guys doing here? Elizabeth and I can handle this. Well, this is a big case with a whole lot of downside potential. DC wants to put senior agents on the scene. Well, do you have a problem with that? Nope. No problem. I'm starving. How's the food here? Yeah, apparently it's good. No burgers. <laughs> no, I wish my wife were here. Women really love this kind of stuff. Yeah, they do. Hi, I was wondering, my boyfriend would love the bathrobe in the room. Could I buy one? Oh, there's no need, ma'am. The package Mr. Jane booked last week actually includes a complimentary robe. That's great. Wine list, sir. Oh, thank you. Teresa, wow, you look spiffy. Tell me something. How is it possible that you booked the rooms here last week, two days before the letter even arrived? Okay, um, <laughs> you got me. I wrote the letter. It was me. It was uh, just a ruse, but uh, I'm 100% confident that's going to smoke out the killer. I will take a look at that wine list. Thank you. 